What is going on guys, Polak here, and I'm commentating to you guys today on Sky's the Limit, and I really don't think there really is a limit in this channel, because anybody could post whatever they want on this channel, any amazing gameplays and commentaries, just like myself, and I want to quickly thank Boston Strong Gaming for the opportunity to commentate on this awesome community channel, and I just love community channels, because community channels... Are, th are the channels that help me even grow as a YouTuber and it just means so much for me to be able to be on a community channel and to be able to, be able to share my content with you guys but without further ado let's just get started with the commentary and the gameplay I'm showing you guys is some uplink on the map solar using the KF5 and I got I believe two ruthless medals in this entire gameplay I believe also relentless, a relentless medal but we're not going to be talking about the gameplay here today we're going to be talking about something that I did address on my channel that Really, I just want to talk about again because for you new viewers that are going to be watching my channel, if you are really interested, really want to know about specifically them as a subscriber. So we're going to be talking about what subscribers mean to me specifically or to others. So subscribers are basically a count of people that click the subscribe button on YouTube because they enjoy your content and they want to watch more of your content. But some people really oversee that now and not many people really think about subscribers how they really should be because... I really do not like considering, you know, my subscribers to be subscribers. I like to call them my lo my loyal viewers, and they're viewers that enjoy my content and will love love to come back for more and more, and they want to get entertained because that's the whole point of YouTube, just to entertain somebody and make their day, inform them with whatever video you're making, and that's all. That's the main purpose of basically YouTube in general. It's just to broadcast yourself, to share your videos, and it's kind of been overseen now ever since you know YouTube has been growing like as a huge business com like business network it's not really as it used to be because back then it was like you could post whatever you felt like there was no such thing as copyright you could post um there was really a lot of originality as well because there's obviously not much competition and call of duty or gaming in general wasn't really a big thing back then but now it's like you know the gaming community has enlarged so much now that it's probably one of the number one genre of videos on YouTube and it's just amazing how it's been changed, you know, how a lot of people have been doing a lot of things and it's hard to really keep up because there are so many people doing one specific thing that it, there's not really much originality anymore. A lot of people do Call of Duty commentaries that, you know, you know, there's not going to be that one Call of Duty commentator that everybody watches. Everyone's going to watch their favorite Call of Duty commentator. That's why me and other YouTubers I know or just YouTubers I watch strive really hard to make the best content and the best commentaries for their subscribers to enjoy. So that's why subscribers, of course, are there for you. And a lot of people don't really, like, think of subscribers as obviously uh, loyal viewers. People really just think of them, oh, it's a, as a number, as like a, like a, what's it called, a mark. Like, nobody really thinks of them as actual viewers that enjoy your content really, like, a lot. Because soon enough, if, say, I don't know, people become big, like, there are some YouTubers that I know that I actually watch and they really don't really interact with their viewers they don't interact with their subscribers and you should always interact with your subscribers because they're people that are coming back for more videos so if you're not really going to interact with them or just post any content then, then you're just not going to have them anymore you're going to have dead subscribers you're going to have subscribers that aren't really going to bother clicking your video they're just there because they click subscribe one time maybe they'll even unsubscribe who knows but it's just people don't really you know what's it called they don't really do youtube for the sake of obviously enjoying making videos and um you know entertaining those who really want to watch your videos people just do it sometimes for just the money like i see people that are like oh look i got a youtube partnership and stuff i'm gonna make so much money but i don't even care about the money specifically in my uh personal view i don't care about money i care about in um entertaining the viewers that i actually um you know post content for so that's really what matters to me and just like I said, a lot of people oversee that and for channels like Sky's the Limit and other community channels to be able to help smaller YouTuber, uh, smaller YouTubers like myself grow is just amazing and you guys should really give props to those who are uh, hosting this community channel. So you guys should give props to Boston Strong Gaming and the directors and, uh, or excuse me, developers of Sky's the Limit and you guys really need to spread the word about this community channel because if you want to really get on this channel and you know post your content and get your uh get your videos across you're gonna have to grow the channel you need more people to watch so 
you know that's specifically about subscribers and um what uh, what else i would say about subscribers is that just that no matter how many subscribers i would really have i don't care how many subscribers i would have if it was say what 200 or you know 2 million i don't care how many subscribers i wa i have because i want to stay as consistent as possible because some youtubers don't really do that anymore some youtubers when they get a large large amount of subscribers they kind of just get lazy just you know slouch back hope for you know the subscribers to come to them manually like without you know him you know, doing any videos or content like not him but just youtubers in general and i'm not saying every youtuber does this like it's mostly the bigger channels nowadays because the small channels i really believe have the best content and surprisingly the last video that i saw on sky's the limit by berkey fan guys you should check out that video and even subscribe to him he's a great youtuber that is small just like myself um, he even talked about how smaller channels could even have better videos than bigger channels for this main reason that they just don't really care about their content They don't care about specifically the loyal viewers that they have they just care about the subscriber count So they just care about having two million three million subscribers but Yet us if we got like one subscriber I would be ecstatic because that means one person actually clicked the subscribe button because they enjoyed my content so even if I had 200 subscribers, even if even if I had like what five subscribers, I would be always grateful for the subscribers I have because, it, like I said, subscribers show that you they enjoy your content, and the more you keep on posting videos, the more you entertain them, the better off your channel will be, and even your channel will grow. And you have to stay consistent. You have to keep posting the best content you have. Always interact with your subscribers because if you don't interact with your subscribers, you're not really gonna get anywhere in life. Or specifically YouTube. So guys, that is gonna be that is gonna be my time for today. I want to quickly thank Boston Strong Gaming yet again for the um, opportunity to commentate on Sky's the Limit, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoy enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash.